Hey everyone, I want to do a talk about um, a game I like called Summoner Wars. I'm going to talk about just kind of my thoughts about it at the moment. Oh, by the way, I got a haircut the other day, so it's nice and short, about the way it used to be a couple years back, so yeah, pretty sweet. So, um, I've been kind of thinking about like what Summoner Wars really is, like, you can see it as like a, a hybrid, like on one hand it could be a uh, board game, or on the other hand it could be a card game, you know, put together, you know, with the master set you use an actual board to play with, and it's very, I don't know what the word is, but, um, there's a lot of positioning and stuff, where in normal card games, like trading card games, you know, you just play cards from your hand and that's all you need. And so I've been kind of been trying to place it like, I know that you've got the trading card games where they're very collectible and um, it's really easy to get into, and then you've got like single buy games like um, like Dominion, you know, where um, you know, it's more like a thing you like bring to a party or whatever, you know, a game party, you know. So, um, I mean, you could you could bring both games to a party, but one is primarily a game that one person can get into, whereas the other one, like Magic: The Gathering per se, is a trading card game that you know anyone can get into. So, so thinking of Summoner Wars like a trading card game, I've always kind of wanted Summoner Wars to be a trading card game. So, and. Uh, that's the thing, like, I was okay, like, they started off with the starter sets, so, you know, you can start out by picking two factions, you know, you know, if you like them, you can pick the other faction, and then that's a good basis, and then, I was thinking from then on, you know, you just get the fashion packs to get to get the fashion you want, and then, you know, you really like them, you can get the reinforcements, and then, you know, you can find, you know, which factions you like, you know, you can choose the ones for you, but... You know, Summoner Wars went the other way, kind of the single buy thing. You know, you've got, you know, the two star facts, which are good and I think are useful, and then they have the master set. And, you know, I don't really understand the master set. Like, at least the way I approach card games, I feel the master set is really limiting, really limiting it. So, you know, say someone were to look at this, um, the master set and be like, oh, I really like the swamp orcs, or oh, I really like the 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 sand goblins, but I don't know about that varga. I don't know if I like the the benders. You know, then what? You know, you couldn't do anything about it because it all comes together. You know, and with the core sets alone, the two star sets and the master set, that's over half the factions in the game. Like that really limits the. Um, you know, the, the trading card aspect to it, and, you know, I think Summoner Wars, in my opinion, is more of a trading card game, so even though it's a little, even though it's weird, even though it's really tactical, and you've, you move around cards and everything, you know, it's a totally different format, but, um, I think, I think it should have gone down that road, so, um, so that's kind of my thoughts about it, like, if, I've been kind of thinking about it, like, I, I'm 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 pretty sure that Plat Hat Games are gonna keep it the way it is, but I've been trying to th been thinking about like fixes and stuff. Um, you know, if they should just drop it all together and release a few of them, you know, separately or all of them separately or something like that, that'd be kind of interesting. But um, that's just uh, something I've been kind of um, kind of thinking about. So, um, so yeah. I'm um, just sharing my thoughts, so thanks guys.